Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I appreciate all of you who are here with us today. Today I am doing my first update on the Who, When, What, Where Project Pan. It is hosted by the Fan, <laughs> Fan, the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group and was created by Andrea. I really hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, would you please correct me? I would appreciate it. Um, this project goes from September 1st until January 31st. And we were to pick two items from each category. However, there's a catch in each category there's um, subcategories. So for example, the who, we have a specific um, item that, like a name, and then we have something that defines a person. And so we those subcategories then kind of, it's kind of cool, it kind of controls how we utilize are who, when, what, where's. Now, when I filmed my first one, I, you know, I'm very new to panning. And after I did that, I learned that I was probably doing it a little bit wrong. Okay, a lot a bit wrong. And so I have decided to make some changes so I am not overlapping products because I had a lot of overlap. And so, Today, while we're doing updates, we're also doing some intros here. So the first one is who, and my specific, I picked my Becca Vanilla Quartz Highlighter, and for the name Becca. So I need to change that because it's already in my Wyoming project. So I stuck with the Becca theme, but I decided to go, and I'm gonna hold this upside down because I don't wanna blind you guys with the mirror. I decided to go with my rose quartz right there. Um, I've been using it since I just, you know, decided, Lori, you need to, you know, not overlap and kinda like get, well, get nothing done. So, I've started using this. I use it on my lid. It's not my favorite color on my lid, but I love it as a highlighter. And I don't even have it on today, but I do like this color, this rose quartz. And so I have thrown it in as my specific who. Now the next one I was hoping to have it done is um, my defines my it defines um, someone in some way. So I'm defining a who, and I, sorry about my hand, guys. I picked my Alfred Sung Shi Fragrance Mist. I had this in my um, perfume project pan, the one was summertime, and I got to here when I did it and then this started and I thought, well, might as well roll this in to get it used up. I really love this scent and I am really considering purchasing a bottle of this perfume, but I don't know how different the fragrance mist is from the perfume. And so that kind of concerns me, but I really like it and I'm surprised because it's such a floral scent. But I flipped it over to a different marking so we could mark down below. But I started right here. I guessed I, those are pretty equal. It looks a little off, but it's close enough. And then over the month, I got all the way down to, can you see that blue line right here? It's along with the black. I got to there. I really thought I would get this done. But I just couldn't, unless I just 
took the sprayer out and dumped it on top of my head. Um, this wasn't going to happen today, but it will be gone probably tomorrow. I really enjoy it, and I will miss it. Um, this is the first body spray I've ever had, so I've really enjoyed it. Then the next one is The When. The first one is a generic um, when, so... I picked the word afternoon because that's pretty generic. It's not a specific time of afternoon. We're just talking about afternoon. And I picked the same color I have in my Wyoming Project pan because I picked my afternoon rendezvous palette from BH Cosmetics. And I don't want to flash you with the mirrors, so I had went along with this color right here, but I need to pick a different color because it's only fair that I do. And to be honest with you, I have looked at this palette and I have zero clue what to pick because I have a lot of these different shades and different palettes that I'm working on or in singles. So, I don't know. Let's go with Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Four plus three is seven, right? So let's go with seven. There's four up here, then five, six, seven. Okay, so that is my color. They don't have names. It looks kind of a, sorry, I flashed you, like a gold. That's, those stripes are my lights behind us, sorry. That is it, oh my heavens, that is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, hmm. Let's see, I know, this probably won't work, but. Oh, I'm gonna like this. I'm going to like this a lot. That is just pretty, very pretty. It's like a white gold. Oh, it's going to be pretty as a highlighter as well. So we picked in the specific when I picked the number seven. Because to me, this that's like the seventh month, the seventh hour, the seventh day, the seventh eyeshadow in a palette. To me, that was specific. It was as specific as I could get. And so I picked my number skin, <laughs> number seven, beautiful skin melting gel cleanser. Now this was brand new when I brought it in. And now we are about right here. Um, I really like this. It works really well. Um, I think it works just as good as the Sonia Kashuk that I fell in love with. The only complaint I have about this is it's very perfumey. It has a very strong perfume scent to it. And so I don't like that. I don't like that in my, um, my skincare, my face, especially, specifically my face. Um, products. Okay, the next one is my what? And I actually had to change both of these. My physical what? I don't even remember what I had. I came up with my L'Oreal um, lipstick. I actually have it on today and I love this color, but I never wear it because I never wear, you know, looks that fit this. And so this is called Tropical Coral. It's number 444, and it is just gorgeous. And it matches my shirt perfectly. But um, I have a lot. That's it. That's what I've got. So um, I do have quite a bit on here. But it's pretty sheer. But it goes on gorgeous. And... That looks really dark and orange on my hand, but it really isn't if you look at my lips. 
how um, light and beautiful it is. So this is my physical what? Coral. Now my abstract is my Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. Now this came in a roller ball and I do not like roller balls. I always put them in sprays. And so I am right here. So I got quite a bit left. And yeah, I like this. I haven't worn it much, as you can tell. I'll put some on. Um, but I do like their perfumes. So, but I picked Nirvana as my abstract. What? Because Nirvana is, it is not tangible. You know, it's a state of being, I guess, is uh, one way to put Nirvana. And so that's why I picked this as my abstract what. Nirvana to me is totally different from what Nirvana is to you. So being with my kids, just spending time with them and their significant others and loving on them and hugging them and just being able to touch them and talk to them face to face. That is my ultimate nirvana. Now the last one I had to change was my one of my wares and it's my specific wear. So I have all these lip products, you know, with a specific place. I have um, brands that have a specific place in, in them, but I went with a sheet mask and it's just a mask. I have the box for you because the mask only has silver packaging. It says absolutely nothing on it. It's awesome. You know, talk about minimalist. That is them. But this is the Elements Face Mask. It's from um, Natural Sense Australia. That is the brand, Natural Sense, S-E-N-S-E, -S -E, Australia. And so my specific place is Australia. I am going to use this and I'm going to love it, but that is my place and that specific place and that is Australia. Now my generic wear is the desert and this item did not change. I picked my Klee Melting Lip Powder in Desert Rose. This stuff is weird. I, I can't, I cannot, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. This is the applicator, which I think is a little weird, but um, you know, it it's a powder that then turns into a, I wanna call it a stain, cause it really stains your lips. And it is a beautiful color. Do not get me wrong. I think it is gorgeous, but it just, to me, it just feels so weird when I put it on because it feels wet, but I know my mind knows it's a powder, but it feels wet. And so I really struggle with this. I have used it a couple of times. I can think of two, but I have made some progress, very little that line there was where we started and now we are there um i'm not looking to finish this i just want to make some movement on it um so i can slowly get it out of my collection that is my who when what where um project pan update number one with many a changes but we're done changing we are good on this we're just going to work on what we have now. You guys take care and I will see you later. Bye.